What does a software technical writer do and what are their primary responsibilities in any given job? In this video, we're going to go ahead and dive into that and more. So first off, welcome to the channel and my name is Josh and I'm the founder of Technical Writer HQ and I have over 10 years of technical writing experience. And this video is primarily for technical writers focused on software documentation or for people who are looking to jump into the field. And it's gonna include details like what's in the job and what do the responsibilities look like and what qualifications and skills are required to do it right. We'll also go over the salary estimates because I know you guys really like that and how software technical writers differ from non-technical writers. But before we dive into all of that stuff, let's go ahead and take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you can keep up with all the videos that we create here about technical writing and about writing in general. So that way, if you want to become a better writer and a higher paid writer, you'll have the content that will enable you to do so and map out that journey. Now that you have subscribed to the channel, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we'll do here is take a moment to understand who a software technical writer is. So a software technical writer is someone who analyzes the specifications of a software product, and they understand the functionality and product features to a large degree. They have to be sometimes as knowledgeable as a product manager and sometimes even as an engineers. And they proceed to write interactive manuals and software documentation for users. And sometimes those are external as well as internal users of the company. And on top of all that, they also provide and assist in end user engagement by ensuring that the documentation is easy to go through and understand. They do that through what's called technical communication and by implementing design elements to assist the relay of complex technical information. So a design element may be a graphic, it may be a table. There's many types of design elements within the technical writing field. And now that we have a basic idea of what a software technical writer is, let's go ahead and break down their responsibilities and their day-to-day, -day, starting with what it means to analyze software specifications. Because as you know, software goes across every major industry, so software looks often very different depending on the industry. But the help content is often set up in the same way. And depending on the kind of software, the first step is to analyze the requirements of the software and documentation. And this analysis starts by researching the target audience and end users, including how they use the software, what possible questions they might have, and what market they belong to. At the same time here, it's also important to manage client and customer expectations to ensure that the software is accurately portrayed to them and at the same time follows the mission and vision of the company. Then the software technical writer leads numerous technical documentation engagements. So that might be with meetings with the product manager, UX designer, engineers, and through that they map out strategic solutions to managing and distributing the documentation. All this helps a software technical writer understand how to curate the documents. And after analysis, the next task for a software technical writer is to understand the functionality of the software. It's important for them to have a good idea about the software's primary offering, key functionalities, and what problem it solves. This helps create better examples, diagrams, and designs, and ultimately just better structure of texts and help articles, whatever documentation you're trying to give to the reader. But we'll talk about that more later on. And understanding functionality starts by mapping all the software features or at least the ones relevant to the documentation that you're creating. And after that, the software technical writer has to determine the priority of each feature in various circumstances. For example, how valuable is feature A in a specific situation compared to feature B? Also, is feature A related to feature B? And when that's done, the software technical writer moves on to plan the documentation. This marks the end of the research responsibilities of this role. And it's very time consuming. Often what you see is that the technical writer spends 80% of their time researching and 20% of their time actually writing. And that's important to know because if you don't get the research part correct, then the writing won't be correct. And the second most important part of a software technical writer's job is the writing part. Again, it's not the first most important part, it's the second. In an ideal situation, the writer needs to curate documentation that simplifies complex concepts while presenting it in an easy to understand way. However, that to an extent depends on the software and purpose of the document. That's why software technical writers first have to determine the tone of the document. For example, it can be professional but lighthearted or it can be entertaining 
yet informative. Now this will happen in your style guide and oftentimes people just stick with something that's more informative and educational because that's the safer route to go. And after that, the writer has to figure out the structure of the documents based on the purpose. And once they have the tone and structure done, the writers develop an outline keeping customer requirements in mind. At this point, the software technical writer may go back and forth on their research to ensure everything is being covered. And after that confirmation, they work on the first draft of the document. Keep in mind that the first draft goes through a lot of scrutiny and testing before it becomes finalized. So you have to talk with subject matter experts to get their approval on things like technical verification, which means are the technical terms mentioned in your documentation correct? Speaking of finalized documentation, here's a rough example of how software documentation may look like. Now there are lots of different examples, this is just one. And while this particular layout and template is pretty simple, it should give you an idea of what software technical documentation may entail. So often it covers things like the technical details about design considerations and architectural strategies. And that's usually if it's internal documentation, but there's also external documentation. And this is where other types of documentation that software technical writers can focus on. And one of the big ones in this field is API documentation. And that means documenting how your software integrates with another third party software. And they also focus on help topics to ensure users can use the software well. So that way if someone has a questions about the functionality of a software, what goes where, they can get that answered. These help topics are often included in a knowledge base, essentially a home base for all the technical documentation on your product. And the help topics are usually SEO friendly and should be SEO friendly. And that way users can find them in Google search because they don't just look at your knowledge base for answers, they go straight to Google. And for more complex products, often you'll be tasked to create white papers and user guides to extensively document the entire product or entire feature set. Now, while writing software documentation is a feat in of itself, these type of writers also need to consistently make sure that they're providing end user engagement. So this goes on during the research, writing, and maintenance phase, or in other words, throughout the life cycle of the documentation. The end user in this case is the final customer or whoever the documentation is being developed for. And this is your target audience that you need to focus on. And that's why the software technical writer has to ensure the content of the document is easy to understand and grasp. Furthermore, these technical writers have to display the content in an engaging way to keep users interested. Now, how do you do this? Well, you have to structure it correctly when it comes to creating things like as lists, tables, presenting data. So there's many different ways to do this. And as for the maintenance part, software technical writers also have to maintain existing documentation. That means they continue to update existing technical documentation based on customer feedback and any organizational changes. And just a quick note, when I say an engaging way of writing the content, it doesn't mean to insert your voice and style. That's meant for more business writing, fiction writing. Technical writing doesn't have a voice per se. It is information writing. And moving on, one of the big responsibilities of every technical writer is technical communication. A simple definition of technical communication is a conveyance of complex information in an easy to understand manner. And that can mean through many different avenues from creating video tutorials to just writing that help topic that we mentioned earlier. And in this regard, a software technical writer has to simplify these technical concepts and information so that the audience finds it easy to digest and they do this in whatever the best way possible is. And on top of that, they have to explain product features and functionalities in a clear and straightforward manner. Another part of this technical communication is showcasing software usage. So this is more of an advanced skill and it's awesome if you can have this skill. And this means showing people how to use software in different cases. And at least explaining various troubleshooting methods for users who are having issues with the software and also heavily relates to API documentation. So this is one of the big parts of API documentation is showing what the API integration actually looks like and how it gets integrated. And last but not least, one of the big parts of a software technical writer's job is implementing design elements in the documentation. We all know that it can get hard to focus on technical documentation if it's not presented in an engaging way. And that's why writers today make an effort to create images, charts, and graphs, display data, and various concepts only when they're needed. You don't want to just throw it in there, throw it in there. You throw it in there if it's better than creating a text version of it. And on top of that, software technical writers also incorporate design elements and sometimes even animations for better readability.
Furthermore, if there are various software usage illustrations that are hard to grasp, Software technical writers can make an effort to simplify those illustrations for the audience, sometimes taking one big illustration and breaking it into smaller subcomponents and then relating it to a larger overall component can help people digest what an architectural design may look like, something that's a very complex topic. Now let's move on to the skills needed to successfully manage these responsibilities. First and foremost, this type of technical writer needs an excellent, over-the-top, near-perfect writing skills. The ability to write complex information in simple terms and phrases is a hard feat to master, especially when you're on tight deadlines. Along with those writing skills, they also need superior technical researching skills to gather the data, analysis, and information needed. It's safe to say that both writing and researching skills are mutually beneficial and crucial for a software technical writer job. As we mentioned before, again, it's 80% research though and about 20% writing. And to put that into perspective, they need good planning and those good technical communication skills. This ensures that the software documentation follows the procedure, format, and the gist of technical writing. Furthermore, business administration, audience analysis skills are important during the research phase as writers really need to understand the overall business that they're writing for in order to make that documentation great. And they have to understand the language and terminology around their product. And as we mentioned, design skills are crucial because especially for software, it helps make things a lot more easily understandable. And moving on, let's get down to the qualifications needed to become a software technical writer because it's not an easy job to get. You often have to have some type of computer science background and have good familiarity with terminology. And people today have many different options to get qualified for this job, but companies often look for a four years bachelor degree, preferably in English science, such as computer science or business. And the closer a field puts you to the technical side of things, the better. On top of that, it always helps to have a technical writing certification from a well-known and reputable source like Technical Writer HQ. And these certifications back the skills one needs to become a software technical writer. And we heavily focus on this area and how to participate well in the software development lifecycle. And for a lot of bigger organizations, they might ask for a two years master or associate's degree, but that's a rare case. And it's mostly for companies who want a very specific type of engineering background. And for well-known software companies, they might ask for experience with their software as a qualifying factor. So make sure you play around with it first before you go ahead and apply. And the last thing here is a lot of organizations prefer if the software technical writer has experience with IT industry directly or indirectly. But the biggest part here is just being familiar with the terminology and showcasing that you are. So creating some documentation examples and throwing them on your resume that's relevant to that industry. And knowing the responsibilities, duties, and qualifications of this job might have you wondering how much they earn. So the average software technical writer salary in the U.S. is about $75,679 with an average salary range between $53,000 and $108,000. Now this really is determined by your experience, industry, and organization. Many software technical writers make over six figures. I actually know a couple that make over $200,000 a year. You just have to find the right industry, company, and so forth. And the top three U.S. cities where software technical writers are paid include San Francisco, Fremont, and San Jose. It's no wonder because those are really the basis for technology in the U.S. And where technology and software is, is where you're ultimately going to get paid more. And the average salary figure I took was from Glassdoor. They do a lot of different studies on compiling data, and it helps to check this source out regularly because software technical writers can have different job titles based on their industry and organization. So they have a lead software technical writer, documentation manager, and all of these may do a similar type of job. And you can add different filters here, including industry, company size, and experience filters to give you an idea of what you would make. And these will really help narrow down your salary estimate. So if you go into a job interview, you know what to ask for. And a big thing here is that usually bigger companies will often pay more. So a company with 5,000 plus employees in the software field will pay more than a company with 200 employees. So keep those ideas in mind, um, but you may get different equity packages in the 200 person company than the 500 person company. And last year, I think it's really important to understand how a software technical writer differs from a non-technical writer. Many people are confused about this concept, so it's important we touch upon it. And the difference is the key to realizing why technical writers are paid more. Well, it requires more experience and qualifications, and they're high in demand. 
Software technical writers need precise writing and technical communication skills to make software documentation more accessible. They need experience with that terminology that's very complex, and they need to understand complex information and concepts and turn them into digestible content for audiences, which is a hard-earned skill that requires a lot of experience, often patience and learning. And furthermore, software technical writers may also be tasked to help software users online. And oftentimes a company has a forum where customers and internal users, so internal employees can ask questions. And the person answering those questions will often be technical writers. So they engage a lot with the community. And this is not always the case. It does happen in a few companies. And it's hard to know just where your job will take you because writing applies to almost everything that we do. And the last part here is that software technical writers only focus on writing informational content about software and the product that they're representing. They don't really go outside of that. So it's not like they're focused on writing emails for their CEO. And there you have it. Everything from what a software technical writer does to responsibility, skills, qualifications, and salary. And thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with us to the end. Again, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of Technical Writer HQ. And I'll go ahead and see in some of our future videos and if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking to start your career as a software technical writer or just looking to improve your skills, then take a look at our technical writing certification course. We heavily focus on this and we cover everything from working with engineers, product designers, product managers, and how to interact throughout the software development lifecycle. I would even go as far to say that it's the best course out there if you want to start your career as a software technical writer. And there we have it. I wish you the best in your career journey. And again, I'll see you on some of our other videos. Cheers.